morning i hope you're doing really really well it is an exciting day today it is new bike day so i'm up in bristol at saddleback and i've got with me my old envy road bike the melee which i've really loved riding over this last year but today i'm going to be swapping it for a brand new envy road bike one that's only just been released so i'm really really excited about that even better i'm going to be building it myself in saddleback's workshop so that's super cool the only thing I'm not sure about is setting up the hydraulics, the brakes, because I've never done that before. I've never bled brakes or set them up from scratch. So that'll be fun to learn. And well, I wonder if it's, is it DI2? I don't actually know what group set they're supplying. So if it is DI2, then this might have to be a bit of a collaboration between myself and the mechanic. I've never set that up before either. Either way, I think it's going to be a great learning experience for me. I do love working on bikes. So looking forward to that and looking forward to getting the new bike and going for a ride. Let's go see what it is. <coughs> It is time for the big reveal. I, I haven't actually seen the bike that we're going to be building today, so tell me about this bike. This is the MV Frey. The Frey? Frey. See, I didn't so, even know the name, genuinely. Yeah, so this is, <laughs> this is the third of the, I guess, off the peg sort of bikes. They're technically a rolling chassis as opposed to a full built bike. Uh, but after the, the the melee came out and the MOG, which is their sort of pre-built options rather than full custom, we've now got the Frey, which straddles the two, sort of. So it has super high capacity tyre clearance, so 40 mil tyre clearance. Uh, it has frame storage, it has mudguard mounts if you need it, or fender mounts, sorry. Uh, and uh, it's a bit more relaxed geometry, so it's a little bit slack on the front end, uh, but it still has that sort of road handling characteristic. So it's a fast bike, yeah. but it's a more practical bike. Let's have a look. Yes. Woohoo! Let me guess. Oh my goodness. <gasps> oh. Look. Look at that. Nice. Oh my goodness. Right, so first job is getting the wires in there. As I mentioned, I've not done this before. So um, what's the knack to it? How do you get the wire to... Fiddle and twiddle. Just fiddle and twiddle. twiddle okay, and simple twiddle as that apparently. That. So where's the battery? Up in the seat close, the little rubber bit to keep it in place. Ah, okay. So no junction box then? No. Sweet. For the 12 speed stuff, it just goes straight into the battery. So we have chopped the steerer, which was quite anxiety inducing but it's done and now we're going to start by well, setting up the brakes so I've got to feed this through here. So once you get past the first chip it's fine because it's plastic bits for Okay put it back a little bit. Oh yeah. We just put a bit of this heat shrink like wrap over the steerer and that is well what's it for Ollie? It's just to keep the hose nice and tight to the steerer and stop the other hose from rubbing on it. One hand holding that up. Yep. Other hand grease all around the back. much as I'm enjoying this, obviously it's slightly disconcerting doing it in front of a professional mechanic, but anyway. Right. How do you do all this with only one pair of hands? <laughs> Why am I finding this so annoying? Oh, I don't want to give up on this. I'm just worried I'm going to go yeah, and, and scratch like, the frame. You've really got to hold it like quite tight. Yeah. You were more or less there though. Yeah. So I think you probably were there. It's just because it slipped whilst it clicked maybe. Josh, tell me about the cranks please. So these are the Gen 3 stages power meters uh, on the, uh, the 12 speed Altegra chain set. Are they single sided or dual sided? They are dual sided. Oh yay! 
So um, Ollie's already done the back break. I'm going to have a go at the front break. And having never done this before, I've got no idea what I'm doing. Gently take that little plunger out, clip it into the side of the pot. So these are the very handy dandy uh, frame bag or sausages mm -hmm. and they go inside of here and so you, you fill it with your sausages <laughs> if you so wish. Snack of choice. A snack of choice on the right, yeah. Or tools maybe. Or tools, sausages uh, and then you've got these handy little pull tabs so one goes one way one goes the other way and uh, there you go you have that and then this is a wicker bit of kit so this is your the, the little hatch cover and it goes over like this so it's a very, well, that's very handy smart. little system does it keep your snacks dry it, well it's pretty good because it has a seal oh, yeah. all the way around it so it should uh, the, obviously there are drain holes throughout the frame so yeah if it is really wet then you might have some problems but again these are neoprene things um, so you should you keep most things dry so what happened next is my battery ran out on my camera and i filled up my memory card so i didn't get the chance to finish showing you the build but i could tell you what happened next i got josh to do the bar tape because last time i was at saddleback he did such a good job of it and i just wanted the bike to look and it does so I'm back home I've got the bike here I've just given it a wash because I actually did go and ride it before finishing this video and it rained um, I had to get over that white bar tape paranoia and just get out there and ride it so I'm going to show you now it looks absolutely amazing and I will tell you about all the parts on it Ta -da! so here she is in all her glory I'll give you a proper look where I'm not sat in front because I'm now going to read off my phone all the parts because I can't remember them because I've got a memory like a sieve so here goes it is the NV frame frame set with inline seat post NV in route aero stem NV SES AR bars NV SES 3.4 wheel set with interdrive hub we've got the NV Seller Italia SLR saddle NV bar tape LV ugh, it's really hard to say all this. NV CIM bottle cages, Shimano Altegra DI2 with stages dual power meter, WTP exposure 736C tires, WTB sealant, wolf tooth lock rings and wolf tooth pink tubeless valves. That's it. Let me know what you think. I'm going to go ride her. See you later.